Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSE Patshala. We were studying about machine learning using Python 3 and in this tutorial we will study about NumPy Array Iteration. So as you know about iteration in programming language uh, that uh, we go through elements one by one. So iteration is uh, generally means looping. So if we deal with multi-dimensional arrays in NumPy, we can do this uh, thing that is iteration or the looping with the help of uh, simple loops which are available in Python, for example, for. So, uh, if we consider an example, uh, if we iterate on a 1D array, it will go through each element one by one. So, let's consider a code that means iterate on the elements of the following 1D array. So, we will implement this code on Jupyter Notebook and then you will understand how iteration is performing here. All right. So import numpy as np, arr equal to np dot array. Here we are taking the elements. So arr is a numpy array. Then we are applying for loop for x in arr and then we are printing its values. So x is a variable and uh, it represents the elements which are present in arr numpy array. And here we are printing those elements. So it's a, a general uh, for loop which we use in Python programming language. Okay, so let's save this code, run this code. So here it is, one, two, three. So all the elements which are present in array are output through this loop. Now the next thing is, if you want to iterate you uh, in 2D arrays, so while performing this thing, it will go through all the rows which are present in 2D array. So it's better to implement a code then understand how it works. So here it is. Import numpy as np, ar equal to np dot array. So here we are taking two list actually, which will represent uh, 2D or rank to numpy array. And uh, here we are using for loop for x in arr, and then we are printing its elements. So this is how we do indentation, okay. So here has been already told that uh, it will go through each and every row, okay, or we just say every dimensions. So let's save this code first and run this code. So here it is. So it has printed the value of the first row and then the value of the second row. All right. So here as we are performing iteration on ND array, if you talk about then it will go through n minus 1th dimension one by one. But it's not uh, printing the actual value or the scalars values which are present in those dimensions. And uh, uh, we just uh, printing the dimension values. Okay, so if we want to print the scalar values which are present in those dimension, then uh, we have to do something different. So what exactly it is, let's consider a code and then you will understand because we need to go through inside every dimension and then we will uh, print its value. So we are considering a code and then we will understand how it works. So here it is. All right, so here is the code. Import numpy as np, arr equal to np dot array. Again, we are taking the to list. And uh, for x in arr, okay. So it represents the first dimension in this NumPy array. Then we are again using a for loop which will represent the element which is present in that dimension and then we are printing that element that means we are printing the scalar values. Okay, so uh, actually we are using two for loops here. First will represent the dimension, second will represent the element which is present in that dimension, then we are printing and uh, obviously because it's a 2D array, so we are using two loops here. So let's uh, save this code first and run this code. So here it is, it's an output. We got all the elements here. Fine. Now if you want to iterate through uh, 3D arrays, so it will give the result in the form of all the 2D arrays. Okay. So how it works, let's see. Let's consider one code which represents a 3D NumPy array. All right, here it is. 
import numpy as np arr equal to np dot array so it's a 3d array why it's a 3d array because we are seeing three square opening and the closing brackets here okay so it's a 3d numpy array okay and as we have been already told that it will print all the 2d arrays which are present in a 3d array with the help of a for loop during iteration so let's save this code and run this code so here it is it's a 2d array and again it's a 2d array so uh, let us printed all the rows correspondingly for the 2d arrays okay so this is the first row this is the second row okay one and the row two this is how it's been printing all right now um, to return the actual values that is the scalars we have to iterate the arrays in each dimension obviously we have uh, already seen uh, in the previous program of the 2d array so let's iterate through uh, for the scalars if we are considering the same code which we uh, did above for the 3d array okay and uh, we just implement this code with respect to that all right so here it is we are considering the same array which is a uh, 3d numpy array that means import numpy as np arr equal to np dot array okay so this is a 3d array then we are using three loops here why we are using three loops we are using three loops because we are working on 3d array previously we did work on 2d array that's why we have used two for loops but here we will use three loops okay so let me perform the proper indentation of this okay and then we will work on it and print the scalar values okay all right here it is so for x in arr that means it's an outer dimension then for y in x that means inside of the outer dimension for z in y inside of the outer to the outer dimension okay so this will represent the dimension 3 this will represent dimension 2 and this will represent dimension 1 and then we are printing the values which are present in the dimension 1 okay this is how we have to use nested for loops for printing the values okay so let's save this code run this code so here it is all the 12 values or we just save scalar uh, values has been printed here all right now the next thing is if you want to iterate uh, arrays and uh, obviously it seems to very much complex that as the number of dimensions get on increasing uh, obviously we need to use as many as uh, for loops in a nested form so we are having a function nd iter which is a helping function that can be used from very basic to very advanced iterations also so it solves some of the basic issues which you face during iteration so uh, let's check some examples and uh, yes the first one is iterating on each scalar element so uh, in basic for loops we have already seen that uh, if you want to print a scalar value which is present in an array we have to use n loops for uh, for example we just see uh, we are working on a 3d uh, array then we have to use three loops so for nd array we have to use n loops okay so this will be very much hectic so in order to solve this problem we will use nd iter okay so how we will uh, implement this let's check a code all right so here it is and we will implement it here all right import numpy as np we are again uh, taking the same uh, example arr equal to np dot array it's a 3d array okay and then we are using for x in np dot nd iter and we are giving arr as an argument to this function all right we are not giving any kind of uh, things for uh, any nested loop or something we are just using this function nd iter and we are giving arr as an argument and straightforward we are printing the value of x so let's save this code or run this code so here it is all the scalar values has been printed okay so this is how we have simplified our code all right so this is a specialty of nd iter function also if you want to iterate um, array with the different data types also so how this can be done we can use 
op underscore d types is an argument okay and pass it the expected data type to change the data type of elements uh, while iterating okay um, this point uh, is telling that if we are having a data type uh, for example integer or float something like that so if you want to change the its data type we have to give an op underscore d type argument okay and uh, um, and in any form of data type in which we want to iterate that given data type we can perform with this okay but what actually happens here is numpy does not change the data type of the element in place okay which has been already present in the array there is no change in the data type actually what the numpy do is uh, it, it needs some extra space to perform this action okay so uh, it uses buffer and in order to enable it in nd uh, iter function we pass flags that is equal to buffer so we will do or perform this operation then we perform the iteration over different data types in a given data type okay so let's consider a code then we will uh, understand it much more better so here it is so let's implement the code here import numpy as np error equal to np dot array okay so uh, this is a simple uh, list which we have taken here then what we are doing is performing iteration like for x in np dot nd iter arr we are giving array here then we are using flags equal to buffer that means uh, we want to change the data type of the array elements but we can't do here on uh, the same position so what we are doing we are using a separate flag equal to buffer okay we are using a buffer here and then we uh, we are using op underscore d types in which uh, in, in which we are telling that in what data type you want to convert uh, this uh, array elements and then you have to perform the iteration okay so this is how we are doing that means uh, obviously this is uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 the elements are uh, real numbers and we were uh, trying to convert it into strings and then we are printing it uh, with the help of iteration okay so this operation has been done separately in a buffer and then we are printing its value so save this code run this code so here it is so it has been converted into a string and obviously the iteration has been performed all right now if you want to iterate with a different step size okay uh, step size that means uh, with some slots we want to uh, perform iteration and print the values so this uh, this can be done uh, with the help of filtering uh, followed by it iteration okay so uh, let's check a code and then understand how uh, we uh, perform this step size iteration so here it is we uh, are given with an example that iterate through every scalar element of the 2d array skipping one element that means we need to skip one element in a 2d array and then we have to print its value so let's consider a code all right so here it is import numpy as np arr equal to np dot array that means it's a 2d array then we are performing iteration like this for x in np dot nd iter arr that means this is your array then uh, colon comma colon colon 2 okay the problem which has been given to us is that we need to have a step size of 1 and then uh, print the values so here the 2 indicates that means if we print this array this will represent a step size of 1 okay that means first value printed will be 1 then the next value printed will be 3 okay for this row and then first value will be printed 5 and then the next value will be printed 7 for the next row so 2 represent that means we are having uh, the spacing of uh, 2 that means step size of 1 okay and this column colon represent that we need to take every row in consideration that means this row also will print the value with the step size 1 this row also will print the value with the step size 1 so first save this code and run this code so here it is 1 3 5 7 that means 1 then 3 for the first row and then 5 and 7 for the second row now we can do some experiment with this if I change this thing with the 3 okay so it will represent uh, that we are we want to print this array with the step size 2 that means first element will be 1 and the next element will be 4 here the first element will be 5 and the next element will be 8 so let's save this code 
run this code so here it is one four five and eight okay and if i just make it as one so it will print all the values okay and save this code run this code so here it is it's printing all the values okay there is no stepping uh, remain okay so let's uh, rechange it to two now what i already told that this column represents that means we are considering all the rows now if i just change it to one if i change it to one and i just take step size like this uh, just uh, one or uh, step size is one i just taking the value as two so it will just consider this row okay that means this this row okay this is your zero row and this is your one row and uh, basically you just name it as this is the first row second row like this but this is zero row and this is the first row okay uh, as per the indexing which we used in an array so if i just take it as one so this will consider this row okay and print the values five and seven with the step size of one so let's save this code run this code so here it is five and seven only it has printed okay so this is how we perform um, your uh, iteration when we are doing it with different step size okay now the next thing is enumeration so enumerated iteration we can perform with the help of nd enumerate function so enumeration means uh, we uh, need to mention the sequence number of something one by one okay that means we are just performing uh, the sequence or we just mentioning the index values the positions with the help of enumeration um, we requires uh, sometimes the corresponding index of the element where it has been present while iteration so this can be done with the help of nd enumerate method okay so let's consider a code then you will understand if you want to enumerate um, for 1d array elements so here is an example let's consider a code okay and implement it here all right import numpies and p error equal to np dot array we are just taking one list okay and it's a simple 1d array then we are doing for idx that means enumeration comma x in numpy and denumerate arr okay so we are taking index values idx that means index value positions for index value positions for every element in the array okay this statements clearly specify what meaning uh, it's been present here so for idx index values for every element x which is present in an array just perform the enumeration and then print index value also and the element also so we are just printing its position also and the element also so let's save this code run this code so here it is so zero position one element is present one position second element is present and second index position third element is present and it's quite clear with this also okay now we can also take an example for 2d array all right so let's consider a code again and here we are taking a 2d array so import numpies np error equal to np dot array so we are taking two list here and it's a 2d array rank to uh, um, array we are making and uh, for idx comma x in np dot enumerate nd enumerate arr so we do not have to any changes with the statements uh, statement will remain the same okay whether you take a 1d array whether you take a 2d array whether you take a 3d array it will perform the same operation it will um, give you the index values and the element value okay so here let's save this code and run this code all right so because it's a 2d array so our start index will be 0 comma 0 its element is 1 then 0 1 its element is 2 0 2 element is 3 and so on this is how it performs now if you want to check it for a 3d array so let's consider a code import a numpy as np and just take a array like this arr equal to np dot array just make a 3d array okay like this so it's a 3d array because i'm using three square brackets all right and then i just perform the same thing as i did above let's copy this uh, statement and just uh, paste it here okay so let's uh, let's save this code run this code so here it is it's totally clear 0 0 0 first element as per as per the index position 0 0 1 second element 
zero zero to the third element as per the index positions. Okay, um, so this is all about uh, NumPy array iteration. There are lots and lots of concepts which are present in in these topics. So uh, we will study such more concepts in upcoming lectures. And uh, thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel.